All right, so we're going to talk about covalent bonding and naming. Uh, covalent bonding is a result from chemical bonds resulting from sharing the valence electrons, the outermost electrons in an atom. Um, they actually share those guys, where in ionic bonds, they, trans they transfer those. So that's one of the main differences. And the things that are, that are involved in covalent bonding are two or more nonmetals. Uh, the nonmetals are the, the elements on the far right hand side of the periodic table. Um, okay, so when we bring those together, they, can, they don't necessarily have to be um, a certain way, like a ratio of ions, like they, did in, like they do in ionic bonds. So they can come together in multiple ways. They can come together, like N and nitrogen and fluorine can come together as NF3, or they can come together as N2F4. So how do we decipher those? Well, first, we, um, we're actually just going to give them prefixes. So in order to actually make it easier, we're just going to put prefixes in front of all of the um, atoms to decide how many of them there are. So it's pretty straightforward and easy. So for example, let me grab a pen real quick. Um, if we were to look at NF3, we're going to say nitrogen. We're just going to name the first guy. And there are three fluorines, so we're going to say trifluoride. Notice two things. Notice I didn't care that there were one, there was one nitrogen there. I don't have to say mononitrogen. If there's a one, if there's a single element in the first, um, as the first element, you do not have to include mono. It's already assumed there's one of them. Let's go look at this one. We'd call this, since there are two nitrogens, we're going to say di-nitrogen. Since there are four fluorines, we're going to say tetrafluoride. Pretty simple. Okay, just to reiterate, uh, the rules: the first element does not need mono, and sometimes you might double, up, you might see something that doubles up on the O's. Don't do that. So, for example, we have carbon, we have CO. We, if we were to follow the the prefix rules, we'd say monocarbon monoxide. That's not going to happen. We don't need this mono here. We can just say carbon, and I don't want to double up on this O, so I'm just going to say monoxide. Because as we know, CO is carbon monoxide. And that's pretty much everything on naming covalent compounds.